Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, we're unboxing something for the 46. This is the last part to get the 46 driving with the M52 TU in it. It does run currently. Uh, I've got a math issue, but it does run. And this is the last thing to make it drive. And I opened this earlier and it looks amazing. The best part about it, you get a free sticker, which obviously that's why we all buy car parts just for the sticker. It's a nice chassis mount shifter. I can't remember what the company that makes it is i'm guessing it's something to do with that i'll have a look so i'm not sure if this is the company that makes them i believe it might be crs but this is the company that sells them 76 quid it's a bargain and from what i've heard everyone i spoke to who has one has said that they're really good it's a really nice piece to be fair i've not really well obviously i've not fitted it yet so i've not tested it but it comes with all the hardware and everything the bearing feels all right or the bushing i'm not sure if it's a bearing or a bushing this shift knob feels quite nice it's quite weighty which i like obviously not everyone likes a really weighty shift knob personally i do but it's fully adjustable you can adjust the height of it which will obviously adjust your throw as well i'm not sure how far you'll be able to get up with it but i'm sure we can figure that out for now i'm just going to leave it the way it is throw it in the car and obviously I've not been able to change gear or anything so it'd be nice to see what it feels like ignore all the mess obviously the car's mid-engine swap so uh, yeah there's a lot of stuff going on I don't actually know how you take these out I've heard you just kind of squeeze from the side so that's that oh, it's even got the original sound editing in here I think we have to get rid of the sound editing in this bit there is I haven't got it here the rubber dust boot that goes in the middle uh, that piece, from what I've been told, you can keep. I believe this is meant to go like this. Which means really it doesn't sit, it doesn't sit that high up. I thought it would sit higher, personally. But what I'm going to do now is try and line that up in the middle and then mark it out and drill some holes. I think what I might do is attach the bottom linkage which goes to the bushing down there and then I can kind of align it to where I need it to be and then I can drill the holes. The carpet just pulled out so that can stay where it is without falling over. Yeah the carpet was already kind of cut so I'm, I'm not 100% sure what's going on with that. I don't know if it's just like a standard thing but I think that it should kind of sit about there which really is not that high i got this side on i did it out of the car it was more of a press fit you probably could get it in with knocking it with a mallet or something it is very tight but i think it's a bearing on the inside which is why it's tight because obviously there's no bushing there so it's it's got to be as tight as possible but yeah this part's together now to put this piece on the gearbox side this is all connected up now like I said before, this bit was push fit. Uh, this bit was like press fit. You probably could knock it in. This side just went in nice and easy. Got both clips on. But this is nice and solid, even though it's not bolted to the car yet. All I'm going to do, mark it out, drill from the top down. And then I might... Uh, it comes with washers, so I'm going to put the washers on the underneath, I think. So, all I'm doing now is getting it central or as best as where I can. The bottom plate doesn't seem to mount dead in the middle. If I want it mounting dead in the middle, it's about there, which is still pretty good, but it's kind of pushed this way a bit, so there will do, I think. Now all bolted in, I'll just pull this foam thing up. I wanted to see if it'd fit, because without it, it's quite loud, which doesn't really bother me, because it'll be a weekend car anyway, but I'd prefer a little bit of sound editing. But it's all bolted in, all the bolts went in fine. I did oversize the holes, because they're M6 bolts, so obviously a 6mm hole. I put them to seven or six and a half, I can't remember. But I, I just made them a little bit bigger with a bigger drill bit. And that made it easier for them to go in, because obviously you're never gonna get it perfect, especially when you can't, unless you've got long drill bits, you can't get drills straight down. Honestly, if you want to do one upgrade to your 46, I'd really recommend this. Obviously you can do it for 36s, 34s. Other people probably make kits for other cars as well, but honestly, this shifter, just like rolling through the gears, it's insane i may shorten the throw or sorry make it longer just so when i'm in fourth because if you come out of fourth you kind of just almost slip straight into third which 
obviously could cause issues. I'd imagine if you're gentle with it like that, it's not too bad. But even just using it for a couple of minutes, just rolling it through the gears, it started to free up a bit. So it, I'd say that this is money well spent personally. And obviously you can use any gear knob you want with it, which I don't have a standing BMW gear shifter at the minute, but I can't really show you, but they don't take normal gear knobs where this will. Obviously it's not threaded, but you can always thread the bar. It's not the end of the world to do that. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe down below as you always do. And I'll see you guys in the next bloody video.